greetings and salutations. Let's install Packet Tracer onto a 32-bit installation of Arch Linux. The uh, type of setup I have right now is obviously a virtual machine with a 32-bit installation of Arch Linux with KDE, Firefox, Java, kind of the basic stuff just to get you up and running. A couple disclaimers to get us started off. We're using the AUR. Always be careful when using the AUR. Read the AUR article. Be happy. Legality. Make sure you're allowed to use Packet Tracer. If you're not, stop. Yes, you. Stop it. Okay, 32-bit systems. Easy enough. I'm going to go to the AUR article and I'm going to grab that command because I am too lazy to remember anything when it comes to Arch Linux. And this documentation is so super handy that I really don't need to remember stuff. I just need to remember how to get to it. So let's elevate ourselves real quickly to root and quickly download and install what we're going to need to get started. Now that's finished, I'm going to exit out of root. I'm going to cd into my downloads directory. And we are need to, going to download and extract the tarball from the AUR, which we so desperately need. Downloaded. Extracted. Now, what we are told is we're going to need to have access to the file. As uh, said here, it's just a, I think, I believe if I remember correctly, it's a gzip archive. And I have already acquired this off of my uh, home network here. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back into downloads. Went too far up there. And this is the file that it requests. And if you want to be super secure like me, you can always do an SHA, SHA1 sum or an MD5 sum of the file just to ensure that you are as secure as can be. And here I'm quite satisfied with that result. So we're going to actually need to move that file into the packet tracer folder. And this is what your uh, directory should look like. And I believe the basics that, it, that the uh, tarball itself came with is basically everything except that file. And that would seem correct because deducing. After that's um, copied over, you're basically ready to continue the installation of just as you normally would anything from the Arch user repository. And as I said earlier, best practice is just take a quick peek at that package build file. I um, personally trust the maintainers and while well, I'm at it, shout out to the submitter and the maintainer. You guys are awesome. And this um, is where we understand that we're going to need that file right here that we just copied over because that is not provided by default with the tarball. And if you look at this, I mean, there's no malicious code that I can personally see. So I'm happy with it. So let's just make, make the package as it is. And in my experience um, with my hardware setup, this takes for me about two, two and a half minutes to actually complete. So I'll see in a little bit. All right, now that that is finished, we're going to have to elevate once more into root, or sorry, as a root user. And what am I doing? Ignore the command I was just about to type in, and don't go back in the footage and find out, because that was just horrifying. All right, now because I'm lazy, I'm just going to do asterisk.xz. Never do that in real life unless you really know your directory structure, or else you could get really bad things to happen. But as I said, I'm lazy, and I like to take shortcuts when I can, and usually that doesn't work out too well. So, uh, never do that. Um, almost in the end stretch here, read that EULA, because it's actually not that long. And I don't... I, I never do it myself, but I mean, you should. And as you can see, we have Packtrace installed. Here's our initial um, run prompt. And you're running Packet Tracer. Now the last thing that you could possibly do in order to make life a little bit easier for yourself, if you're especially if you're a student, is check out this page here. It's the assessment environment check. And the quick rundown on it on this is it does a couple uh, checks of packet tracer just to ensure that when the time rolls around for you to start doing um, practice exams and including the final exam where you actually do a practical packet tracer um, scenario and trying to troubleshoot a network 
that you understand what you're doing in its for assessment and such, as I already said. So if you have Java all uh, installed correctly and happy and it can find Packet Tracer and it basically shows you this, you're good to go because minimum requirement is, prob is most likely all you're ever going to get with this. And that is how you install Packet Tracer onto a 32-bit install of Arch Linux. Thanks for watching.